it's Sarah. And, oh, yeah, there she is, Kiwi. All right, I'm back for my updated craft room tour. 2019, it's the end. I should do it for 2020. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm sitting at my desk. This is a living room, den type room, okay? So, let me turn this around so I can see what I'm showing. All right, so right there is a door that Joe put in for me to make it like a private, quiet area. There's a lot of windows in this room, so that's why the biggest change that I've done is gonna be, I'll show you, be revealed. There's my TV, pretty much everything's the same. Down here I definitely changed some things. I took out a lot of random fabric and paper. I'm trying to uh, declutter and just take out things that I don't use all the time. I had everything in here. That little cubby has stayed the same pretty much. It's um, mixed media, so a lot of inks and things I don't use, paint, solutions, sprays, adhesives, and my dyes, and my little Cricut is over there. Then I have, this is my, I'll show you better, but this is where I film. I take this camera off the tripod it's on and I hook it on here and then it shoots down to my desk, so I just move that over. Joe rigged that tripod up for me. Um, okay, then I have a chair, which is nice because Joe comes home. Sometimes I'm in here. He'll come and have a seat and we chat. And then there's the fireplace. Now, this is the biggest change. Before this, I had a 12 cubicle cubby thing. I forget what they're called. You know, they're, it's not Ikea, but it's um, closet made. I think I got them at Target. And I have another one over here that I can show you. There's a... Another one right there behind that door. But I want to show you the biggest, and I changed the um, fireplace, I mean, I'm the mantle, and just moved some things around because I had a bunch of other crafty things that I'd made. Um, let me just screw the, I unscrewed the camera. All right, there's a little thing here. I'm going to try and do something on live. Here, let's see, on camera, because this is the biggest change. Come here, Katie, you got to get down. And Ginny's in here. But Joe made me this. I don't know, James might be home. Anyway, this little like, fireplace screen, Joe made this. And you just move that out of the way. And I have, I hope you can see, let me see. I'm just going to turn this so I can tell if you can see me. Oh yeah, good. I don't think James is here. They, they hear things and they, all right. So, this used to be a wood-burning fireplace, so you had to go, you had to get wood, or we used, mostly we used um, door logs. Girls, I'm trying to do a demo. So, what we did was, Joe connected the gas, which I think we had had it connected um, from when we moved in here. <laughs> this is Kirby. Do you mind? I'm doing a video. Girls, okay, go. When I start talking, they think, you know. All right, so I'm going to try and do this. And what we do is we turn this to pilot. Wait. All right, I turn it to pilot. And I there's a little arrow. Oh, God. You push this in, and then you hold this. And I heard the gas, like, click on. And then I turn it to on, and it should, I think it's supposed to go on. I think I might have to hold it longer. This is only my like second, third time doing this after Joe showed me and I don't pay attention. Maybe I'm supposed to hold it longer. on my desk. Oh, oh, yay! Yay! Look at that! Oh, yeah. Alright, so anyway, this is the biggest change because so then, and I think, I mean, you're supposed to put like, ouch, that gets hot. 
I had it on before I did practice. But anyway, I think you're supposed to do that. But I would like to do this. But I don't know if I'll really feel it or if I'm making a fire hazard. Oh, I, you can feel it. So anyway, that's the biggest change. Stop. All right. So let me pick this up. There's Kiwi. Oh, she pooped. So anyway, so that's the biggest change to make it nice and cozy in here. But this also, this 12 cubby, um, it's by Closet Made. But like I took, I had so much clutter. I had clutter all through here, everywhere. I took all my beads out of here because I don't do beading as much. And I put my polymer clay stuff right here. Um, this is just a little picture frame of all Maya stuff. But so what beading stuff I have, I put right here. And clay stamps and clay cutters. Um, all my little tiny stamps for doing clay, my clay tools, my extruder, all my bling for clay. So this is kind of my clay station now, which it never was. This was just beads and I never used it. So I'm trying to make the space work for what I do. This is still just display. Um, these are empty at the moment or kind of. But it's a lot of, um, I know my lighting is bad, but um, so anyway, these cubbies are the ones that uh, just are holding mostly things that I use. So let's see, random stamps, composition books and corrugated cards and paper. I'm sure that's um, envelopes and all types of things like that. So this is uh, for mini albums and things like that. Um, trims and flowers so this is because I don't use them very often I just put them this is my stained glass stuff uh, this is all ideology Tim Holtz ideology stuff and this is Christmas <sighs> so basically I tried to create a space that was m less cluttered like less so here I still have my like 12 by 12 paper pads still I didn't really do anything with this area yet I have lots of stickers that I don't use more trims so I didn't really you know I didn't change any of this yet so there there's some sprays in here this is where my alcohol inks were because I've been using them um, what's in here I don't even know more trims so I could definitely de-stash that because I don't use those things anymore I'm not making many albums Probably, uh, I don't think I'll make them anymore. I don't do a lot of scrapbooking and mini albums. I loved making them and I have boxes full of them, but I don't think I'll make them anymore. So, um, let's see. Over here changed because this was, there's, this is a lot of my paint. I have this awesome paint spinner. Um, but let's see. This is, these are empty, I think. This is empty. This is just some of my little art dolls that I made these things, these guys. That's all the supplies for them. Um, like the wings and the bodies and the, you know, stuff like that. Let's see if there's, this is empty. We'll wait. This is just a little bit of fabric. Um, so I don't even know why that's like that. Because, you know, so I stopped. I had empty boxes and things. So let's see. Trims, applique boxes. Oh, that's polymer clay boxes that I've made. This is polymer clay stuff. Um, Uh-oh, what's Kiwi doing? Look. What are you doing? Don't you throw my pencil down. What do you think you do? Oh, man, it's getting toasty in here. So I'm going to have to turn that off. Um, this all changed. I put all my instructional books here that I've bought. So there's polymer clay, mixed media, collage, all types of things. Journals that are just not filled that I didn't want to get rid of. Um, this has stayed the same. My paper towels, my paint brushes I put out on my desk now. My paint spinner, which I love having handy. Um, and this, this is my other journals that I would work in if I needed to. I put all of my, let me go around the other side of the table. This is just display things that I love. 
it's getting hot in here. <laughs> um, Kiwi, what do you think you're doing? Come here. I got her. Um, so yeah, this is these folders, which I found these folders from when I went to school, but I filled them with like, this is all my stained glass designs, um, anything that I've done like that. This is collage. Actually, these are stencils, my stencils. So I just tried to make everything neater, not just like random paper sticking out, looking cluttered. I just couldn't, I couldn't focus. This is my iPad. So when I'm watching tutorials, I use that. And this is all my mixed media. Those three bins are mixed media stuff. My mark making tools, sponges, and stamps in that one. This is um, my foam. Oh, there's some washi tape in there too. But these bins are awesome. They just stay nice. This is, I just have my uh, baby wipes in there because I use them all the time. And this is just, I use these for the um, ink paintings or the alcohol ink paintings that I've been doing. This is just random, I don't know. I don't know. They, I had it over there and I haven't really truly sorted through them. The wall here is not, I don't think it's staying like that. I want to just put up specific things and not just everything. That's what I'm kind of trying to do. I don't want it to be, and like all this stuff, some of it's gifts, some of it's swaps I've done, but that's all my Tim Holtz stuff and I really love it. So I think that's just going to stay like that. So I put up, I hung up some of my cork ornaments um, and tags that I've made. So I do like to display my work, but I don't want it to feel too overwhelming and cluttery, you know. Underneath here, I sorted through here, I found a brand new Kiki K journal, a leather bound Kiki K journal. And it's upstairs and I haven't touched it yet, but I love it. So I went through all those bins and straightened everything out. And, de and that's like where I have my, um, Oh God, Kirby thinks she's going outside. She's not. Um, my polymer clay tiles that I use to when I make um, that I bake with, and those are my ATC. Um, those binders have my ATC collection in them, and I think those bins in the middle are empty. So the pink and white right there, you can't really see it. So I did a lot of work. It's maybe it's not as noticeable because. You know, now this I use, what is this called? This little, um, I forget what they're called. A something cart, a Razcog cart, I think it's called. That one actually is from Ikea because I know Target sells them too. Um, I've had that and this is going to hold the projects that I'm working on. So I have alcohol ink up there. I have um, some painting projects that I want to do that I'm going to make another video about. Um, so that you guys can be prepared and maybe paint along with me. Um, and then over here, I'm going to move my chair. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll put the, I can put this on the desk maybe and show you what's behind because what I like about um, this area is everything is in with, within reach. And this, this desk is awesome. It had, it came with, this four cubby, you know, that's attached to the desk, but I needed drawers. It did not come with drawers. So I ended up getting this uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine drawer piece from Ikea. And I just stuck it right here. It doesn't quite fit. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, like you can tell that it's not perfect. The bus is here. I'm sorry. The kids, the, the kids across the street, their bus is here. Um, but these drawers are wonderful for things that you need to be at the ready. So the top is kind of more of um, stationary supplies. So notebooks, post-it notes, my pencils and pen refills and things like that. Um, this is all my inks and stamping stuff. Also my, um, what is it called? Um, Speedball pigment inks that you would use a little, I don't know what they're called. Stop, Kiwi, right in my ear. But anyway, um, so I have my stays on, my archival, all my inks and stamping stuff. This is my Poscas, my Prismacolors, 
all my different um, colorful things, Neo Color, my watercolors, Karen Dash, um, all different watercolors that I don't know how to use and I don't use very often, but I really would love to at some point. Um, then this is kind of mediums. I have my Golden Fluid Acrylics, my Premier, I'm sorry, Lumiere Metallics, and some of the DecoArt Fluid Me Media Acrylics. Um, I bought these on clearance. They were $1.77. I have never used them, and, I, and I'm not even in the shot. I'm so sorry. Um, I might as well just keep it on me. But anyway, that's what's going on. And it definitely makes me feel... Um, this is tools, all my beading tools, my... What is this called? A roller thing, everything. Toothpick, stapler. I may be James's home. Then this next drawer, which is awesome. This is a big drawer, which I love about this. Let's see. Paint. So I have my um, opalescent and pearlescent paints. Not opalescent, pearlescent paints. Glitter paints. Kind of just like those special effect kind of paints. Because for dot painting, they're really good. Um, this is stamps. And because I do use these stamps for embossing and um, mixed media and also on clay on polymer clay uh, this is oh my stickles I love my stickles and this is my um, these are my Tim Holtz inks these are my dotting tools and just some more um, things and this is just like bags and random stuff so anywho it's getting there it's getting there I'm gonna turn this because over here is pretty good. This is my wood burning. Um, these, again, it's f um, things that I can access that doesn't look messy, like um, patterns. Ooh, this is going to be a fun project. I want to make, I got this at the dollar store. I'm sorry. It's, it's not going to be filmed well. I'm going to get lots of thumbs down on this, but I don't care. Um, this is, I got this at the dollar store, and it's just a template for a wine glass shade. So I was thinking I would find, like, a cute project that I could do on um, watercolor paper. Oh, I have two of them here. Anyway, this is just the template so that, and then I can, we can trace a pattern on here and make a little wine glass shade. So that's in there. <laughs> um... But I have to remember that I wanted to do all these things because I came across them. That's the fun part of like de and cleaning out your room. This is just random uh, paper. These are just empty folders. Um, this is paper for collage. Just things I've made. Life book when I took life book some painting projects and stuff. So I just like, it looks neater. And then here is all my um, journals that I've made, things that I, uh, these are folders that I made that, are, that have my mixed media stuff in it. And these are notes. When I first used to watch um, YouTube videos, I would take notes about the different videos I watched, the um, tutorials, because, and when I did swaps, I would write everything down. When I made a needle book, um, the Shabby Chic Flower tutorial, and I would write it down because, like, you need measurements and stuff, crochet things, ink techniques. Anyway, thinking inking. Like, there were little um, seminar and things like that classes that I took, and I wrote all those instructions down in my little um, altered composition books. Um, so I have them here. I have my one art journal that we did that I completed from 2017. And then just little other um, art journals. Um, then, I mean, again, it's not quite done yet because I still have random things back here. This will probably stay. These are, it's my gesso, my all-purpose sealer. What's in here? This is stamps, Tim Holtz stamps mainly. But the bottom is kind of random. Like, this is just my, like, different, like, gloves, um, bags, uh, you know, all deli paper, just random stuff like that. 
These are my two. This one is actually a um, traveler's notebook. A real like, and I don't even know if I'm in the shot. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna. I might not even post this. This is an actual traveler's notebook, but I just made this little dangle for it, and I've never used it, but I might start to use it. I made the little inserts for it, and there's a, there's even a 2019 calendar in here. So cute. Um, but I then I started making my own, so I made this one. I have another one. This. This is my um, needle book, so I have like needles in there. This is my little traveler's notebook that I made. Did I ever write in this one? I think I'm still filming. Um, I have a calendar. I started to write things in here. But 2018 I made this, so it's all out of date. But I could definitely get back to it. It's just super cute, and I love the little, oh man, I probably have a video on that. Um, and then these are some my ATC little thing that I just have, I love. My cut, my paper cutter. This is collage and this is ATC supplies. So if I wanted to make an ATC, I could just pull this out and everything in there would be helpful for making an ATC. Um, I'm going to put this up here. That's it, you guys. So I don't know. This was kind of just really, I don't know. I'm going to look at it and see what you think. Um, I feel good in here. I, you know what? I think the fire turned off. Joe told me that, um, it's, a, it has a thermostat. So like it will, oh, I can show you this. I'll come back and I'll show you this. It has a thermostat. So let's go over and see what it's doing. If I don't make you all sick. Yeah, it turned off. Cause it has a thermostat so it'll i'm gonna try it today because it is cold here today it's like 30 some degrees so anyway and then i have the double doors there that kind of lead into the main part of the house um joe put me these lights up here which they're all right it's not great for filming because i get a lot of shadows but i can definitely see my desk like when i'm working i can see but for filming not so much this is just a view of the tripod that keeps it balanced, <laughs> that uh, basket. And then he hooked the bro uh, broom to the top of the tripod. And that's where I hook this camera when I'm filming down on my desk. Um, and that's really it. Let's see. Um, so yeah, on the mantle, I just put some of my favorite things that I've created. And then I ended up hanging. This was a class that I took with Jody Ole. Actually, it was an online class. And I just tried to hang these in a sort of a sensible way I can't do it one-handed um, and so I'm still working on it. it's a work in progress but I'm very 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 happy now because like I had to take things off the like, there was so much clutter it was just too much clutter and that is not good for um, my spirit my spirit doesn't like it so my spirit needed me to do that so I did it and let me exit the room. There we go. That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.